Greetings fellow nerds, I'm Vault Matrix and I have poor impulse control. These figures came to me from Amazon and thanks to KR Brickbot, fellow YouTuber, I went ahead and bought them off Amazon. He provided me the links and I couldn't help but buy them. What we have here are Tobot Mini Monster, Tobot Mini Shuttle, Tobot Mini Sergeant Justice, Tobot Mini Speed, and Tobot Mini Master V Ultimate. Now, eagle-eyed viewers may know that I have already reviewed the full-size version of Monster, Master V Ultimate, and Speed. Master V Ultimate, my reviews anyway, consisted of Master V, which is these three guys, and then Quantum Stealth, Mega Drill, and Powertrain in separate videos. Um, there are many versions of these three guys, but I didn't bother getting them because I just wasn't interested. Now, price-wise, these littler ones on the side are each $14.99, and then the middle guy is $44.99, which all of them together was cheaper than one Master V, who was a lot more expensive. I don't remember the exact amount. Out of the box, they are all slightly mistransformed, especially Sergeant Justice. His legs are completely collapsed. The figures themselves look very good out of the box for their size class. They all have good paint apps. We'll be taking a up close look at them all here in just a second. And they're all nice and fun, and that's the point. They're all fun. A couple of comparisons with some more modern figures for you, specifically Beast Wars Megatron, Kingdom, that is, Studio Series Jazz, Studio Series Grimlock, and Legends Class Beachcomber. Now, I'm going to also include Titans Returns Quake, just so we've got a larger deluxe class figure, so you get a decent comparison there. These figures are all roughly modern Transformers deluxe size class. Roughly. Starting this video off with Speed, you may recognize him from another video review that I have already done, and that's because, well, quite frankly, nobody watched that video. Like, it's below 5,000 views, which is not that great. So I'm just going to do all of them. The coloring on Speed is pretty darn good. I like the overall look of the figure. Posability wise, it's very limited, though no, heads, no head articulation. Shoulder swivel, ratchet in and out, though I wish the actual transformation bit actually locked into place. No elbow or underside of the shoulder swivel. Elbow does bend, but not at 90 degrees. Legs can kick forward and can kick back. The figure cannot do the splits, but he can do a pseudo squat for the transformation. And then there is torso articulation that is on this weird ratcheting post. All of the figures have this, or at least all of the figures that have rotating hips. The overall look of the figure is quite good, and I do like this guy a lot. Before we move into the transformation, the spoiler does pop off for no real reason other than it can pop off and so it won't break. Transformation, very simple. Take the backpack, flip it up, take the arms, fold them all the way back, and snap them into the back of the shoulders like this. Then point the arms to the top of the figure like that. Then grab the entire torso section, pull it down. That will allow you to then, then come to the very front of the figure and fold out the front spoiler, thus allowing you to bring the arms fully all the way down and peg into said spoiler like that. And then just kind of wiggle different bits around to get things lined up. And then we have Gerwalk Sports Car. Seriously, Gerwalk Sports Car. For the legs, fold the toes up. Flip the lower legs into the upper legs. Once those have been turned around, grab the legs and kind of accordion them out on these little ratchets that are at the upper thighs. Fold them up, snap the rear legs into place, and then push on the hip until it snaps into place. And then we have this very nice little car mode. The car mode moves very nicely and rolls really well as long as you're on a flat surface. I like the car mode. It looks good. Size-wise compared with a current Earthrise figure is roughly the same as a current Deluxe class figure. Next we're going to take a look at Monster and he is reddish purple, orange, and black. And of the, all the robot modes, honestly he's the weakest. Posability is rough. Head kind of moves side to side a little bit. Shoulders don't move at all, or, yeah, they're not moving. 
There is some in and out movement. Elbows do bend on weird little ratchets and no fist articulation. There is torso wiggle back and forth for the transformation. Seriously, I wish that locked into place. It doesn't. Then the legs are on ball joints. Knees are ratcheted for the transformation. No toe articulation. So in terms of posability, he is by far the worst. And in terms of looks, he is my least favorite of the group. He's just this little robot that turns into a monster truck. He also has a weird Gren Logan syndrome going on where I can't unsee a face here on the chest and tummy. Transformation for this guy is pretty simple. Grab the elbows and actually fold the arms down as far as they will go. Then grab the little monster wheels on the outer forearms, rotate them up into the shoulders like so. Grab the lower hips, turn them around 180 and then push them all the way into the back. Take the shoulders and collapse them in and then the arms will peg into place on the inside of the, or underside, of the tummy like that. With the hips pushed back, make sure that the legs are combined or pushed together, then fold them down until they snap into place and then flip the legs up and that's it. That is the vehicle mode. Monster in vehicle mode works a lot better than he does in robot mode. Rolls really well on the table and just overall looks pretty good. It's a monster truck. It's a bright orange monster truck that unfortunately has a really hard, hard time staying together sometimes, especially if you put too much pressure on it. But otherwise, it looks pretty darn good. And this figure is the only one in all of these figures to have stickers. There's a sticker that you apply up here on the top of the cab, and there's a sticker you apply on the top of the hood. In terms of size with speed, it's definitely shorter, but way, way taller. Next up is Sergeant Justice, and the figure looks pretty darn good. I like that head sculpt quite a bit. And the overall coloring of the figure works well. The white, the blue, the black with the red accent of the lights up top. I like it a lot. The overall package looks pretty good. I don't like, however, the lack of paint on the chest. I would have really liked there to be some paint up here. The other thing I'm not too fond of is the backpack. There's nothing you can really do about it. It's a giant backpack. One word of warning though, this whole arm section does have a tendency to pop off. It pops right back into place. I was thinking that, oh, maybe I could use that as a weapon of some sort. No, no, you just can't. Posability, again, limited. Head doesn't move at all. Shoulders are on ball joints, but the bulk of the shoulder gets in the way a bit. The elbows don't bend at 90 degrees. There's no other kind of rotation there. Legs do kick forward and back. There are knees, but they're not great. And then there are some toes, but again, not great. So posability is greatly limited on the figure. Sergeant's transformation is more complicated than the other two, but it's more of just a falling onto his face and then everything kind of folding up so that it points backwards as a car mode. To start off with, bring the legs together at the ankles, fold the toes down, then come to the shoulders. Next, come to the shoulders and fold them down and peg them into the arms similar to what we did with speed take the chest fold that into well the chest come to the back above the head fold this panel down and then you can just collapse the arms onto the rest of the body and they will peg into place the legs collapse that is the one part of the figure that is mistransformed out of the box one word of warning if you get this figure you have to pull it and then pull it again until it clicks. Otherwise, the legs will just continue to, you know, slide it up and down. Then this panel will unpeg, or this piece will unpeg and flip around. Though sometimes it doesn't want to do it when the legs are slid up. So just redo that, peg everything in, snap that down, and here is the car mode. Of the three we've done so far, this is by far my favorite vehicle mode. It is sleek. It is... It is nice looking. It makes me think of a transformer and it rolls with no issue. I would like to see a little bit more paint. I might actually take this whole thing off and paint this white and then paint the engine actual silver because I think that engine is cool. It's just a boss looking cop car, like really. In terms of size compared with Monster and Speed, it's about the same length as Speed and is definitely feeling more chunky and larger than the other two. Uh, as I said, of the three so far, Sergeant Justice is my favorite. 
Last up for this size is Shuttle, and Shuttle is my favorite of the set, simply because I think it's just the coolest. The overall aesthetic works really, really well, and the giant thrusters for chest and shoulders I, I like. Posability is just as limited as the others. Arms don't move forward and back, but uh, shoulders have in and out movement. Elbows move forward. Legs kick forward and back. They're is some knee articulation, though it's limited. Not limited, I should say. It's not useful because of the transformation. Hips are much too loose for my taste. Head sculpt is quite good, but you're not moving that head around at all. Overall, though, I like the look of it. I, I just do. Transformation, very simple again. Take the arms, fold them back, and snap them into place into these pegs underneath the shoulders, like so. Bring the arms down and they will peg into place. Then there's this little garage door over the head. Fold that down. And I mean, it, it could more or less be a space helmet, but it's opaque enough that it's just a door. Combine the legs together. Take the outside of the legs, flip them around and peg them together like that. Turn the hips around 180. Fold the knees down flip the entire section up and then fold the knees in and they will snap into place. And that's it. That's the transformation. And the shuttle mode works well. Could use a little more paint, but I really like the look of the shuttle mode. It's got no wheels to move, so it can't do a doot to do, but it does look good. I mean, it looks really good. I wish it had a peg hole somewhere that I could put it on a flight stand. It doesn't. Oh well. But a cute little shuttle. In terms of scale with the others, it is scaling about the same size, which is silly considering a space shuttle is going to be way bigger than a car. But yeah, it's roughly the same size as the other guys. All right, now on to Master V. Now, for those of you that don't know, I reviewed Master V in multiple videos over the course of a couple of months of getting a hold of the figure. I got the initial Master V, then I got the train guy, which is the feet, then I got the drill guy, and then I got the stealth bomber guy. The overall figure that you end up with is just gigantic. Unfortunately, it's in storage right now, but I could tell you that it, it would be about this, about this tall. It would come up to the top of the frame here on the camera. So it would actually, you know what? It would come up to about the bottom of the chest of a Titans class Scorponok, if you want a better comparison for height. It was a big boy. This one is much smaller and so much cheaper, but it's cool. It is legitimately cool, though it does lack posability. Uh, the only thing you could do is um, move the arms. That's it. You're, you're not posing anything else. There are ball joints here in the legs, but good luck. The knees do bend, but again, good luck due to the top heaviness. Disassembling the figure, super simple. Let's go ahead and get it into just Master V first. Gotta pull the backpack off, pull the arms off, and then you should be able to fold out arms with this, but obviously that's not going to work with these because that's just not the way this works. So here's speed, here is the drill guy. You have to combine back together, fold that forward, flip these out, fold those down, and flip these back around into place. And then we've got the drill tank. You don't have to do anything for stealth. It's just a big old piece of plastic shaped like a boomerang, which is a shame. I would like to heck, actually do something with this. Can't really do anything with the keys. I've tried to figure out if you could maybe peg it in underneath stealth so you don't lose it, but no, you just have to hope you don't lose this thing. And now we've got train, which literally just unpegs from the back, flipping up the heels, and then they peg together. And then these two split apart, combine the halves together, flip up the crotch, push the canopy forward, and there's monster. And shuttle is the most complicated, which Honestly, is not saying much, really. And there we go. So I spoke too soon, 
double check the directions, and yes, you can store the key underneath shuttle. And this is supposed to just snap into place and it stays there. So yes, you can store the key underneath shuttle. And here are the different vehicles. Unfortunately, they don't have full robot modes for themselves, but I'm okay with that considering the price. They're all pretty neat and they all scale pretty well to the other deluxe class versions. So speed is just a smidge smaller then it's, well, I'm calling it deluxe class. It's mini version, it's fully transformable mini version. But the molding is exactly the same. The, <laughs> even the spoiler pops off, which that's a testament to some decent engineering. Shuttle, obviously different color and just a little smaller, but molding's very, ident almost identical, except for, you know, having to make concessions for giant robot bits. And then the same could be said about Monster. Still a little smaller, different color, but all the molding is pretty much there. So this is very accurate to the full deluxe class, deluxe size. And by the deluxe class size, I mean the, the ones that cost like $100 a figure. So yeah, this is pretty good. All right, let's put it back together. I'm gonna take train first and configure the feet somebody who just cut their nails getting these heels out is not easy so just get those and put them off to the side tape monster push the cab section back until it snaps into place reach underneath and flip out the crotch split the legs apart and attach the train snap snap and Snap, come on, and snap. There we go, put it off to the side, take speed, split it apart, and put the spoiler back on, take the arm, take the uh, mega drill, split it apart, flip up the drill, flip up that, and then determine where the thumb is, and, can, and slide the arm in place. Do the same thing on the other side, flip the drill up, flip the tread up, find the thumb, and put that forward, put that off to the side. Still wish that this did something else, but it does not. So put that off to the side for now. Pull, plop the key out, fold that down, flip the shoulders up, split the front of the shuttle, and bring that, whoop, and oh no, it broke. Oh, oh no. This is like the fourth time I've transformed it. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, just have to move past that. Snap that into place. Damn it. Put an arm on. Put another arm on. Put a car on. Put another car on. Slap the chest on. Man, I'm just super bummed. That sucks. And then attach a plane to its back. And there we go. Missing part of his chest. Damn it. Overall, I'm happy with this set except for this, which sucks. But these guys are all pretty cool. Each one of these smaller ones was 15 bucks, 14.99 on Amazon. This bigger bot, this bigger guy was 44.99 on Amazon. No, it's not the cheapest, but compared to the prices of the original, who are very difficult to come by now and easily over $100 a pop, I think you're getting a good deal. So I'm probably just gonna hand these off to my son now that I've reviewed them. So folks, let me know what you think of these down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix. I'll catch you all next time.